And welcome back to PTL Live from the Home and Garden Show here with Antiques Appraiser, Dr. Lori. PhD Antiques Appraiser. That's right. Lori. That's right. How are you, David? How are I'm you, David? I love Pittsburgh. So good to see I'm so you. So happy to be back at the home show. Well, it's so amazing to have you here with us. This is an amazing Pittsburgh home show, and it I know because I'm at all of them. Oh, God, I'm so happy to be back. Just doc, don't knock over anything too expensive. I won't, expensive. I won't break anything. Okay. We do have some really great items, and when we have our audience with us yes. this Friday and next Friday, Friday, they will be able to share some items with us, and so we like to have you appraise them for I us. I know. I do my antique appraisal comedy show here at the Home <laughs> Show all week long, all 10 days, so you can get your piece of appraised as well for free, courtesy of all of our exhibitors and the Home Show. So if you didn't come here to PTL, you can do it there, okay, right, here good. at the Home Show all week. So we're going to start there. Yes, mm -hmm. tell us what and, we have. And Selena is helping us with our... Hey, everybody. Hi. Selena. Kathy Butler. Butler. So we have Kathy's item up first. Kathy, how did you acquire this piece? Tell us a little bit about the handsome man in the picture. That's my father, James Pell. Aww. And your father served where in World War II? Well, he was. Uh, he went to uh, Pearl Harbor after Pearl Harbor, and then he was in Okinawa. So he was in Okinawa, and he was mm -hmm. also in Pearl Harbor. My gosh. Thank you and all the families for their service, of course. Thank you. We thank you. This particular example is his hat, actually, and you can see it part of a uniform. Do you have the full uniform? I have the full uniform. Okay. The full uniform will be helpful in terms of establishing value. If it's in good condition, right? It is. And I bet it is. Usually we, we hold on to those pieces. They're reverence pieces, pieces of honor that we pay homage to. Value on the entire uniform in good condition is about $400 to $500 retail. Wow. And all the values I always give are retail values so people understand where they can start if they say, we need to sell something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember, I don't buy antiques or sell antiques. I'm an honest appraiser only. Got it. Okay. So, thank you so much. That is thank nice thank to see you. And now, thank these you. pins? Those particular pins are pins that would be part of the uniform. So she kept those as well. Mm -hmm. And um, those, whether they are pins for service or they're pins for you were in an occupation, you know, you're in the occupation forces, or you were part, of course, of the allied forces, which he, of course, was. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you again, Kathy. Thank you. All right. Who do we have next? Hello. I love your Mighty Penguin sled hockey sweatshirt. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, Mr. Very nice to meet you. So what item do we have up next? Um, what item did you bring? I brought the necklace. You the brought necklace. this necklace. Oh, okay. great. Now tell us a little bit about the person who got that necklace. That necklace, in fact, is a necklace that has a Pontiac Native American on it. And that particular necklace is one which refers to your family. Is that right? It was my great-grandfather's... -grand great-grandfather's. Who worked for Pontiac. Who works for Pontiac. So that's and the... my great-grandmother actually turned it into a necklace. It was a uh, tie pin. tie tack? And uh, she turned it into a necklace in the Beautiful. 70s. So she made it a pendant. When and this particular piece is 14 karat gold and it's marked. And that particular marking indicates, of course, the quality of the gold, the weight of the gold. It also has some diamond ships, pave diamonds, they would call them. And those particular diamonds impact value as well. It also is an advertising collectible because only certain people could get it. So anytime only one or a small group of people can get your antique, it's worth more. Right. Okay. Value on this piece, about $250. Damn We're in good health. Is. Thank you. It's a nice you. remembrance. Thank, Thank you so you. much. All right, okay. up next. Hi, sir. Hi. What's your name? Charles Daniels. Where are you from? Wexford, PA. All right, Charles Daniels from Wexford. Charles, did you bring these pieces? Yes. Tell us a little bit about them. Well, the green matchbox was from my wife's grandmother. So she this is constructed metal. It's tin. And basically, where you'd put that near the fireplace, you need to put that near the stove. And you could, in fact, um, attach it to the wall. And then you would have, of course, the matches in that particular ah, piece. So that's okay. a matchbox. So, and you acquire date sometime between the 1920s to the 1930s in terms of time period and that you can tell from the color if you look at the color times of depression like the 1930s we usually have muted colors mm -hmm. bright mm -hmm. colors are usually in times of economic um, prowess where we were doing really well economically what about the other piece a little bottle opener there you always need a bottle opener in Pittsburgh right? yeah we, <laughs> we call it the church key we find that in the drawer the other day when our grandson came down 
uh, to Torah College, we wanted to play cards, and that was in the bottom of the card drawer. Oh, okay, so at the bottom of the card drawer, great, all right. So that particular piece is worth somewhere around 2 to $5, where this particular matchbox is worth anywhere between $25 and $35. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Functional objects you want to think about, they're collectible, but you want to think about them. Where's Carol? Hi, Carol. Carol. This is hey, Carol. amazing. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Wonderful, Fine, beautiful how you? piece, Carol. How'd you acquire this? It was my mother's, and it was either her mother's or her mother-in-law's. Okay, okay, so you know that it was either um, one generation more back from right. your mom. Okay, so this particular, did you hear that Connecticut, the mom, right? <laughs> right, because I grew up mom, near New so Haven. This particular piece is a nice piece. This is called a ewer, E-W-E-R. So it looks like a pitcher, but when it has a thin neck, right, it's a ewer. Now on the bottom, there is an Asian mark on the bottom, which helps us to date it. Now you might go, Dr. Lurie, I don't know what you're talking about. I can't date it from that. But basically, the Orientalist period is when Americans are looking at Asia for their inspiration in decorative arts, and that's what this is. This is hard paste porcelain. This particular piece would have been gilded, painted on gilding. This is moriage ware, which is wet slip wear. And this piece dates between 1875 and 1900, wow. the wow. Orientalist period. Wow. That's really wow. nice. Value on that piece, about $450. Very oh, nice. But maybe <laughs> something great. worth keeping if it's in the family. Worth keeping in the family. It'll yeah. only increase in value. Thanks, Fancy. Carol. Thank, Thank you. you. Well, Carol. I think we're out of time right. right now for these items anyways. But make sure to stay with us because we are just getting started here on PTL. And we'll get back to Dr. Lori in just a little bit.